Welcome back to Real Estate Radio TV. We have the honor and pleasure to welcome Yuich Oka, liaison officer at Daiwa House Industry. How are you today? Yeah, good, thanks. And that's a great opportunity to come here. It is, it is a great pleasure to have you on. So before we talk about the Japanese market uh, region where you specialize in, I want you to give us a brief introduction of Daiwa House uh, being a leader in investment in Japan. Okay, so uh, Daiwa House was founded in 1955 uh, on the basis of a uh, corporate mission of contributing uh, to the industrialization of construction. Hmm. And uh, working to co-create value for individuals and uh, communities and uh, people's lifestyles. And net sales of our uh, uh, company uh, on 2022 was over uh, 30 billion US dollars. And half of them are uh, from housing uh, sector and quarter is from commercial facilities and other quarter is from uh, logistics, business and corporate facilities. Within our web radio, we have a wide range of listeners and, and some listeners interested in, in emerging market such as Japan. So really, what are the fundamentals making Japan uh, a great land of opportunity when it comes to residential but also commercial real estate? Well, uh, because of the weaker value of Japanese yen to the U.S. dollars, uh, so real estate price uh, has been increasing for uh, several years. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, during the uh, under the uh, low interest rates uh, compared to the U.S. or other European markets, and housing uh, prices. Uh, uh, going higher uh, for several years and also the commercial facilities are going higher now also industrial uh, facilities are prices are going higher uh, for several years and when it comes to commercial real estate there is a wide range of sector which sectors are the strongest in terms of fundamentals in Japan is it logistic retail offices uh, logistics, logistics software uh, under the uh, circumstances of the COVID-19 because uh, everyone are working from home. So, you know, one of the main topic in, in today's market is really the, the capital markets that have an impact on investment in Europe but also in the U.S. So really what impact did the capital markets had on Japan and, and really uh, give us a walkthrough on, on all that? Uh, well, uh, Japanese uh, population are now reducing um, birth rate and the uh, increasing number of uh, elderly people and the uh, current uh, capital market of the uh, uh, high interest rate uh, uh, in the other countries in the world. Uh, Japan is still uh, in the uh, lower level of the interest rate, but it will uh, begin uh, to increase uh, maybe from this spring or summer. So oh, the, uh, uh, the capital market will be suffering uh, a little bit in Japan too. But maybe less of an impact than, for example, in Europe or in the U.S.? Yeah, less impact uh, because the uh, increasing uh, uh, increasing interest rate is uh, relatively moderate than uh, other countries in Japan. Maybe uh, now the uh, housing uh, uh, housing mortgage interest rate is about 0.5 percent okay. only, but maybe it, it would be um, two to three percent. Uh, at the highest, so it's still uh, low uh, compared to the other countries. Okay, well, Yuich, it's been a great, great pleasure having you on and, and talking about Japan being a potentially enough opportunities for investors looking at deploying capital in emerging market can be a good option. We will put your different LinkedIn contact information as well as the website in the bio if people ever want to reach out and are potentially interested by Japan being uh, a to allocate capital to. In the meantime, make sure you download our app that's free and available both on the App Store and Android uh, and follow us on all social media platforms. Yuich, see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Thank you very much for inviting me.